Hey everybody, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about index funds and mutual funds for anybody out there who's struggling to understand investing, who's looking to just to start, okay? So the, this is not a broad topic, this is not a deep topic, this is not, oh I guess it's a broad topic, not a deep topic. Uh, <laughs> I clearly am doing well with this video. So I just want to go over a little bit about funds and the differences between a mutual fund and an index fund. So here we go. So a fund pools multiple investors money into a basket. Think of it like a cookie jar. And I got this analogy from Ramsey, so I'm not going to act like it's new, but a cookie jar and then all of the money. So my money is one cookie and your money is another cookie. And that's the fund. So the fund itself is like multiple investors, right? Then, and that's what a mutual fund is. Most index funds are actually a type of mutual fund. So there's a broad category of mutual fund and then you have index funds. Index funds are passively managed. They just follow the market while mutual funds have an actual fund manager. So there's somebody in the background who's picking the stocks and has expertise in the field and is trying to figure out like how to make more than the market would. So let's say um, for one year, it, the market makes 10% overall, right? The S&P 500, the, the market as a whole makes 10% overall. The goal of the mutual fund would be that that manager is going to outpace that, meaning that if you invest in that fund, you're going to get a 12% ret return or a 13% return. Now, these numbers are completely made up, so don't don't take them for anything, but that's kind of like how I would describe it. Index funds will track the overall success of a particular market or a particular index. They're basically small pieces of stocks pooled together. So instead of purchasing one single stock, right, I'm, I'm going to go buy a share of Coca-Cola or I'm going to go buy a piece of McDonald's or I'm going to go buy a little bit of Disney, they will pool a little piece of each business into this fund. So if it's tracking the top Fortune 500 companies, right? You'll be buying a little piece of each of these companies. The benefits of the index fund are as follows. Diversification of your portfolio, passive investing, less volatile, and low operating expenses. A mutual fund will pool all of the investors' money into a basket as well, but now you have a fund manager who's making the decision of which ones to purchase within that fund. They are also popular for diversification as well, so they're a great option alongside index funds. And sometimes they can outpace the index funds in terms of returns. But actively managed funds are also associated with higher fees. This can be found um, in a breakdown uh, of the actual fund. You can look for the expense ratio. So that's the negative to the mutual fund versus the index fund, is that you're paying extra to hopefully get a better return. And truth be told, nobody knows what the market is going to do. Nobody can truly predict that. So it's kind of a questionable thing that if you read most investment for beginners books, they're going to recommend just investing in an index fund. But you are paying more for the manager's skill and expertise and previous experience within that mutual fund. Some pros to it is it's professionally managed, low minimum investment requirement, and also a diversified portfolio. The cons of the mutual fund are higher fees and expenses and comparing funds can be difficult so how do you know you're making the best decision with your investments how do you know that they're making the best decision with your investments overall i hope this short video has helped clarify a little bit more about investing in funds and the difference between index funds and mutual funds thanks so much for watching and until next time have a blessed day